First of all, Blackpool, uh, a good point on Sunday and a, a very good performance all round. Um, ma listen, massively better. Um, I just felt after the game so so enthusiastic about the, the lads playing the Tranmere way with passion, heart and desire. That's, that's what this football club's bare minimum when you put on that white jersey. That's the bare minimum that you should do. And the players went out there and did that. They showed a lot of other qualities as well. They passed it on a really tricky pitch and all the rest of it. It's got a great goal, showed some real other qualities. But the bare minimum is that at Tramia. So for me, at the end of it, that, that's the, the minimum I can ask for. They, 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 they turn up and they, and they fight for that jersey and, and understand that that's what's required when you, when you, when you do. So no, I was I was pleased with it. Still, obviously, want to keep making it better and better and better all the time. But um, no, that was my message that to to everybody, the players and the fans, ourselves, we understand, and we have to keep that that mentality, that drive for the football club that we won't accept any less. We will not accept any less than that. I'll keep driving it from mine, the fans obviously they drive it from theirs, players have to drive it from within and together you've seen the power of that. We should have won, I, I have no doubt about that, I'm not even uncomfortable saying that. We we had the better chances, we looked like the team that was finishing the stronger um, against the Blackpool team who's at that end. But we've got to keep showing their qualities in order to drive ourselves forward. So that was the pleasing part of it for me. Uh, you mentioned that I've got it written down anyway. It was a Tramia performance, very determined. We're seeing that a little more often now. Is that a case of, of, of the new lads, if you like, buying into the Tramia philosophy as well? Because it's something we've had in, in abundance over the last five years, certainly since you've been at the club as well. Uh, that never say die attitude and go until the end. Well, you, you could probably just have written there what the mission statement is for Tramia. You've got to have the qualities when you, when you play here. It's got to be driven, obviously, from us, the, the manager and, and the players and the fans. It's got to be driven. And it's got to be... You've got to just accept that that's what it means to play for Trammy. You've got to go and bring the qualities to the pitch all the time. Then you have to find a level of consistency in that. You've got to just do it all the time for 90 minutes, game after game after game, be relentless and all the rest of it. Um, and obviously we've got to bear in mind we'll come up two levels very quickly so you've also got to find that quality because you're coming up against bigger, stronger, faster athletes than what we were used to over the last however many years. So we were, we've been patient with that but now we believe that we have a group of players that can, that can outrun teams in this league, outfight them, outphysical them. Um, and then on top of that, you, they can show the qualities that they have, like Blackett Taylor and Ferrier and Kieran Morris and Jennings and all these guys. They all have real good individual talent, but it has to come underneath the umbrella, if you like, of just pure old-fashioned hard graft and being competitive and being wanting to win that 1v1 battle against the guy that you play against and all of that for Tramia. So, yeah, I'm starting to... We've started to see it for a few weeks now, but to, to be fair, we, we, we didn't date it bottom. But um, we, we know, and we've spoke about before, that we need to keep improving the quality of the group and the quality of the, of the, of the levels that we do, or the, the tasks that we just said there. But we're, we're, we have plans for that. Uh, another good side coming to Bretton Park tomorrow, a football inside in Coventry, and another tough test and, and one I know from speaking to you week in, week out, that it's a test that you'll relish. Oh, we love it, yeah, we love it. It's not coming to Tramia. I'm very respectful of Coventry. Great football club, great traditions and all the rest of it, but we're Tramia. You're Tramia, you're coming to us, and one thing that we should be able to guarantee is you're going to get one hell of a, ta a, 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 a game. Because we're going to get after you, we're going to get after you. We're going to we're going to fight. We're going to harry, and in, in the spirit of football. But when you come to Tramia, you should expect a real tough game, and you will have to be, play very very well in order to uh, get away from here with anything. So I'm sure that they know that we're 
determine that we're going to deliver on that. We want to keep the standards of um, from from the last game working forward, and I'm sure the players will be, pre uh, be prepared and, and getting ready to go. And close proximity again from the last game. I'm sure there'll be the odd bumps and bruises, but anything of note ahead of the game tomorrow? Um, yeah, but listen, we, we we have players that it may be a doubt. Um, we'll give them the, as long as possible to to, uh, to recover. But like I said, they've all been brought here to play first team football. They've all been brought here to play for under the if you like underneath the the, the levels, the tasks that we expect them to play at. So they'll, be, they'll get there and we'll expect them to fight, scrap, and get on with it, and we won't look for any excuses.